God only knows how long I've been to doctors about this D DC equilibrium, this bruisiness in my head. I have been given antibiotics for ear infe infections to the sinus. I've been diagnosed with sinusitis. But not one doctor could find out just what the hell was wrong with me until I went to the Seaboard Allergy Clinic. My mom goes there. She said, now Chris, I really like them there, so be on your best behavior. Do not use any bad words. So I, went, I go there. The stuff is, you know, I sign in. I go back. I'm not going to mention her name because I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know if she wants her name splashed all over social media. But Indian, a Pakistani lady. Really cute. And she's like, first we got to test you for allergies. So she did an allergy test. She's like, I, I, and she's like, I got some really good news. You have no allergies. And the way she said it, she said she would pray for me. She's like, that, that, I, I was all flustered about because I came in feeling the blockage in behind my nostril, my right ear, clicking and popping getting congested, clicking and popping, trying to do this, no relief. She's like, D don't worry, don't worry, we're going to find, we're gonna take it one step at a time, we're going to find, we're going to do everything to find out what it is. I went back the next time, and, hallelujah, I had seen this uh, diagnosis on the internet before and wondered if I had this. But she's like, have you ever heard of a deviated septum? And she said, I can look at your nails and tell that you've got a deviated system, septum. And what it's doing is blocking your eustachian tube from draining. And it's, it's simple to get it corrected. There's no problem whatsoever. Oh, she also brought to my attention something else I had been noticing. That my head was tilting. Always tilting to the side. I had noticed and discussed this, but she brought it to my attention, saying that might have something to do with why I was feeling rotten, which I think is due to uh, weakening of the muscles due to my to that due to that fucking stroke. Thanksgiving Day, 2013, which is why I need the damn stem cells so I can. Become un unretarded, or as Cult of Dusty Smith likes to say, untarded. So I need your donations. Or I just need somebody rich to take me to the Carolina Stem Cells and s pay the bill so I can get stem cells right off the bat. It's not gonna happen. Nobody loves me that much. So, this doctor gave me a diagnosis, a cure, that none of the, absolutely none of the ER hospital doctors could diagnose. They didn't give a shit there. That not even my family physician thought to mention to me. Not don't get me wrong, wrong, my family physician is damn good. Maybe I wasn't clear enough and missing my symptoms. And ever since I have a stroke, I cannot speak and think it clearly simultaneously at the same time. My mind races fat much faster than I can speak. And by the time I get to speaking what my mind has already thought, I've done forgot what my mind raced through. Which is why these videos today suck. But anyways, all I'm waiting to do, I've mentioned that the doctor, my family physician, he's like, oh yes, well, we'll chisel it, we'll put a stick there, and you you will breathe a lot better. And another side, good side effect, mom, after my stroke, mom had mentioned a nurse at the seaboard allergy here, I had a stroke, and it was so bad, she bled from her eyes. And I asked, told mom I wanted to speak to her one day, and I finally got to speak to her on my first time, at the Seaboard's Allergy, I'm like, 
Are you the one my mom told me about who had the stroke? She's like, yeah. And her speech, just as good as normal. That gives me hope. So I'd like to give a shout out, a heartfelt shout out to Seaboard Algae Clinic. Over there on, I think it's McElwain Street, I think. Done. where is that place? Yeah, no, Queen Street. Queen Street. Or McElwain, I can Damn, there's no excuse for me not being able to remember. I would like to thank you for finally giving me a diagnosis that not one other doctor has been able to do up until now. Now the question after this is, how much is uh, this booziness, delivering, dizziness, whatever, is related to my deviated septum, and how much is it of it is, is as my family doctor said, I have a gut feeling most of this is related to your stroke residual effects. Maybe that's why he didn't mention the deviated septum, because he was focusing on my stroke, which is why I need the stem cells. GoFundMe.com slash I underscore have underscore lost underscore hope. Since I'm doing positive videos, if y'all out there really love me, if you really love me, if you really, really, really love me, and I'm just talking heat talk, walk the wall and donate $5 to my account so I can get the $8,900 to $15,000 I need to get stem cells by Dr. Stephen Kramer and Carolina Stem Cells in Cary, North Carolina. So I can rap again and have a stand for a chance of getting rejected in the music business or making it big and finally getting the money I need to buy a car, become financially independent, to get the cosmetic surgery so I can be a good looking guy and get the longer arms and look young and get my hair back. Because let's face it, oh, I'm going to keep it positive. Nothing negative. Oh. I'm walking kind of, kind of wobbly, feeling deviated septum. I think I'm that 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 has got to be it. Affected my vision, but another thing I need: pulse electromagnetic magnetic field therapy. I'm told. I was told I, there was a guest on Dr. Oz. He had excruciating back pain, but he got that and no more back pain, unless of course quack. Quack, quack, Dr. Oz is a quack and he was a paid actor. Well, if that be true, I want to get artificial discs surgery to give me artificial discs in my neck and my lower back so I can exercise for, for crying out loud and get nice toned muscles and look sexy. Minus, give me a I can't help myself. Minus. Minus the goddamn pain and tingling in my limbs and ticklish sensations and spells of oh, dizziness while I lay in bed the day after I exercise. Without, and there no longer, that's probably what's caused my groin pain, my herniated discs in my low back because it radiates between my groin and my back. Now I've done had one hernia surgery. I'm going to need another one. My doctor told me back then in two years and it's been uh, a year since then. So uh, next year, I, ah. But I'm sorry, I can't help it. I need to do this now. Hillary's going to get in the office. I hear I have the sickening feeling she's going to win. And the country's going to go bankrupt. Please help me get my health back. All of it, as much as possible, before the country goes bankrupt. And I lose my Medicaid, Medicare. So that I can at least survive when the country goes bankrupt without these monkeys on my back. Eight medications. I'm telling you. If this is if if it's gonna be as bad as I think it is, as soon as I lose my Medicaid, and uh, as soon as I stop being able to take my medications, I'm I'm gonna kill myself. You hear me? I'm gonna kill myself. 